What's up, Legion Beast? Matty S here, Leads for Locals. Just want to do a real quick video. I uh, saw a request for this in the group. Uh, I think this is actually a, a really cool uh, automation that you can set up a, a workflow. And uh, it's pretty simple to do. Basically, what we're doing is we are using, uh, we're, we're creating a workflow that will trigger when your contact is assigned a user. So this is really ideal if you have uh, multiple team members and you want to create certain actions based on who they get assigned to. So we're going to have the system check to see who the assigned user is, and then you can create whatever workflows you, you want around it. So uh, it's pretty easy to set up. So you're just going to create a new workflow. And then the uh, workflow trigger is going to be contact changed. And the filter is going to be assigned user has changed. That's it. Uh, so you have a couple of options like you can uh, do uh, has changed too, but then that limits you on uh, what you can do afterwards. So we're just doing like any time a contact is assigned a user, it's going to trigger this workflow. Now, you obviously, you need to have a workflow that assigns the user, uh, which is, uh, that's that's pretty easy to do. So once you have a, con you know, basically, it would be contact created uh, for your workflow trigger, and then your action would be uh, assigned to user. And then you would, uh, uh, I, I usually turn this on to only apply to unassigned contacts. So, uh, and then you would just select all of the users in the platform here, and then it would, cycle through, right? So uh, make sure you have that. But then uh, once you do, you'll be able to uh, create this workflow. So uh, assigned user has changed. And then all we're going to do is the plus sign here. Uh, we're going to do that if else uh, action. So we'll hit plus sign. I'll just show you where it's at. Uh, they kind of uh, reorganize these. So it's uh, under internal tools now. And it's the first one, if else. So you're going to select that. And then the assigned user includes whatever uh, it, like basically you're going to create an if else for each one of your staff members here. So if it includes this user uh, and, and the answer is yes, what do you want to happen? Uh, so all of the actions would happen uh, under this branch. But then uh, let's say you have uh, two users in this case. So we, we just created the if else for this one user, but now we need to create another one to check for the other users here. So we're going to click the plus sign. We're going to do if else again. All right, we're going to do contact details, assigned user, includes, and then you're going to select the next user. Uh, I only have one user, that's myself on this account, but we'll click save there. And then you would just keep doing this for each one of your users, and you would create whatever actions you want based on that particular user. So up here at the top, make sure you publish, save uh, the settings. I don't think we would really need to allow re-entry on this because you're really only going to assign uh, someone to a particular user once. Uh, that, that's why, that's one of the reasons I, I turn on only assigned, uh, unassigned contacts. But uh, I think, yeah, we don't really need anything here in the settings, but that is how you are able to create certain actions and certain uh, follow-up or uh, workflows, whatever, based on who the contact is assigned to. So I hope that helps, guys. Uh, drop some feedback down below, uh, comments, any questions, anything I missed. You know, if you're not sure about something or if you want me to make other uh, Go High Level tutorials, just let me know. Hope you guys are crushing it. I'll talk to you in the next one. Matty S is out. To your success.